Well, joining me now to discuss this is Nicole Widdersheim, who is the Deputy Washington Director at Human Rights Watch. She's also the former Director for African Affairs at the National Security Council, covering the Sudans and Central Africa. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme. While the talking goes on now, is the current ceasefire likely to be relieving the humanitarian position on the ground? Uh, I'm not aware that it's alleviating any humanitarian needs right now. It's allowing for foreign nationals to leave and for some Sudanese civilians to get out of the city. Uh, we have seen reports that some folks are able to move to collect water or make their way to Egypt or other areas outside the city um, and possibly even leave the country. But I'm not aware that true humanitarian corridors have been established. Uh, there's been so much infrastructure that's been destroyed. People are still without electricity and water. You need electricity to pump water in, in most of your homes in Sudan um, and in Khartoum. So I think the humanitarian needs are huge. This, this had a civilian population in Khartoum between 7 and 10 million people, and they've been without water and electricity and uh, under constant gunfire for 10 days. Um, as your report told us, even though the, that there's a ceasefire brokered, there's still gunfire going on. Indeed, and a lot of the focus on this ceasefire. How difficult, though, is the next few days and weeks going to be for people in the capital and beyond there? It's going to be extremely difficult with most of the international community leaving, uh, including uh, those officers that were overseeing development assistance, humanitarian assistance that already was coming into the country for vulnerable areas like Darfur and Southern Kordofan. Uh, that infrastructure has departed. Um, we know that some donors like the United States and others are pre-positioning uh, support and have stood up disaster assistance response teams in the region, uh, but that's outside the country. Uh, so I think it's gonna be, it's still, it's still gonna get harder for civilians. Um, and also I'm not totally clear on the exact number of how many people are injured. We've seen reports of perhaps over four or 5,000 people injured close to 500 people killed. And we know that hospitals have been bombed. We know that basic uh, access to basic health care has not been uh, possible. Could you be encouraged, though, by the very fact that this ceasefire appears to be holding this time? I think uh, Sudan is a land of a lot of hope. Uh, I think we've been hoping for a civilian transition. We've been hoping to see things get better for decades in Sudan. So we have to hope that this ceasefire holds uh, for the basic humanitarian assistance to get into the country and get into the city and for people to try to protect themselves. Because uh, right now it's really up to them to protect themselves. The parties to the conflict are not doing enough to mitigate civilian damage. Uh, sorry damage to civilian structures and also to mitigate violence against the civilians. OK, Nicole Widdersheim, Deputy Washington Director at Human Rights Watch. Thank you very much for joining us live from Washington.